Smart bulbs and light switches are a great way to add practical functionality to your smart home. They let you control your lights using an app, scheduling, or by using your voice. Now, once you get started with smart lights, it's really easy to go down the whole rabbit trail, and the Philips Hue Iris is a great place to end up because it allows you to add pops of color to any corner or area of your home in an all-in-one contained light fixture. If you're interested in buying a Philips Hue Iris, then I have links in the description below. The Iris can either use a Philips Hue Bridge or Bluetooth for app control of color, brightness, and color temperature. I love how sleek and modern this light looks. The top is what puts out the light, but the back is clear and has a frosted lens that gives it a super cool translucent lit look. The iris has full brightness and color customization. You can also adjust the color temperature from between 2000 to 6500 kelvins. The iris puts out light at 570 lumens at maximum brightness, which is not crazy bright. It's really just enough to set a mood light or to add a splash of color to a corner of your room. When I unboxed this light, I was kind of surprised at how big it is, especially compared to the Play Bars and the Go. It definitely takes up a significant amount of space on a shelf or table, but it looks so cool. The Iris definitely doesn't have a premium feel. It almost feels a little bit cheap with the plastic feeling very lightweight. I like the braided cord it comes with, and it's really nice that the power adapter can be detached from the cord. That way you can fish the wire down the back of your desk or to hide it behind a table easier. Another thing to note is that the angle of the light is not adjustable. You can rotate the light, but due to the single flat base, it has only one fixed angle. I found this angle to be perfectly fine for displaying on a bookshelf, entry table, or a desk. To set the iris up, you just plug the cord into the power adapter and plug the power adapter into a receptacle. Then, if you have a Philips Hue bridge, you go to the Philips Hue app, go to lights, and click the plus sign in the top right. If the light doesn't show up right away, you might need the serial number, which is located on the bottom of the light. With the Hue bridge, the iris is compatible with Alexa, Google Home, and Apple Home Kit. This will allow you to create automations and scenes and to set routines for your day with the light, but you have to have the Hue bridge to set these up. Philips has their own Hue app that you can use that works really well. It's super user friendly, it's easy to customize the light and to set different scenes that come on throughout the day. I also love the way that they let you change a whole room's worth of lights at the same time and to use one of their pre-made scenes and to shuffle the different lighting combinations around. It's just really easy to use and very fun. This light feels a little cheap, but it looks great. And we gotta talk price. It's $110, which is kind of steep for what it is. To me, this light's not the first light that you should buy when you're setting up a smart lighting setup. You should start by getting all your rooms set up with smart switches or smart bulbs depending on your fixtures or what you're going for. But then when you're ready to add pops of color, accent lighting through your house, then lights like the Iris are perfect. They're so customizable, they can look good in a variety of different places. They also have several different fixture colors available, so depending on the decor of your room, you can choose the color of the light that suits you the best. Also, when talking about the price, you're paying for the Hue name brand, which is worth something. The lights work really well, the app works great, and it's compatible with HomeKit, Google Home, and Alexa, which some of the other companies are not. With some of the other smart lights you buy, the light quality isn't quite as good, especially in the different color temperatures of whites. But with the Philips Hue lights, they're all super reliable and accurate. And if you set one color on a bunch of lights, they're all gonna match really well. So if you're ready to add some pops of color in ways that you can't do with a standard Philips Hue bulb, then the Iris would be a great choice for you. Hue also has the Go and the Bloom is slightly cheaper accent lamps than this. They all have a slightly different look and the Go also offers the ability to be used on battery power. But to me, the Iris is the coolest looking of the three and the biggest. Check out my channel for some more in-depth reviews of these lights and other Philips Hue lighting. Thanks for watching this video. If you found value in this content, please like this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any upcoming content. Also check out my other videos for more Philips Hue lighting reviews. If you'd like to support the channel, please consider making purchases with affiliate links in the description below.